Another edition of Real Recruits TV. This time we're taking a break from the high school action. Hello everyone, I'm Kyle Stanley here with Phil Stafford. We're actually at ASU for the Sun Devils against the Lobos. Bobby Winkles Field, we're seeing Division I baseball. Yeah, and this is an important game for both teams because both go into conference play after this. So you don't want to go into conference play with a loss no, right in the back not. of your memory. So uh, big game for both teams. And one thing that we're not used to seeing since we do cover a lot of high school stuff, we're not used to seeing the scouts at games. You know, we saw it a few weeks ago at Sunrise Mountain in Arcadia. But this time we saw a lot of scouts, <laughs> but even more so uh, some other friendly faces. Yeah, not just scouts checking out a couple players. We are actually talking about the general manager of the Colorado Rockies down here, Dan O'Dowd. We saw him in the crowd there. But it's not unlikely. I mean, you got all the teams here for spring training so that's normal to see that but uh, you know obviously a lot of big names here checking out some big names and big prospects on the field so why don't we go ahead and check out those prospects on the field and see how this one went down they saw a good one a lot of drama in this one 13th ranked ASU and New Mexico playing their final game before starting league play Zach Miller on the mound for the Sun Devils but the Lobos come out swinging Mitch Garver pulls that one down the left field line as it rattles around down there in the corner DJ Peterson comes in to score Goes as an unearned run for Miller because Peterson got on base via an air. Skip ahead to the third inning. New Mexico is threatening and Peterson making some noise again. He steals second and the throw goes into center. He's headed for third. Casey Kaufman comes up firing, but Michael Benjamin can't handle the throw. And the two airs in one play allow Peterson to trot home. It's now 2-0 visiting team. Fourth inning, Sam Haggerty extends that lead single through the right side, brings home Jared Hawley. It's now 3-0, and that seemed like a huge deficit with the way Jonathan Cuellar was pitching. Mowing down the Sun Devils, only allowed three hits in five innings, but he allowed one big one to Mike Benjamin in the fifth. Solo blast to left by Benjamin put some life into the crowd, but they still trail 3-1. Seventh inning, Sun Devils have their leadoff batter on, but Alex Real sends him back to the dugout, starts the 3-6-1 double play, and that kills the rally, and Arizona still trails by two. You can see the home team feeling the crunch as we hit the eighth. Trevor Allen doing his part to ease the tension, sneaking this one just under the glove at first. Allen is safely into second for a leadoff double. Two batters later, Casey Kaufman showing bunt and executes. But DJ Peterson does not. Kaufman reaches safely to first. Now the Devils have the tying run at second. No outs on the board. Looked like an error, but hey, the hometown score gives Kaufman a hit. Enter the stanky leg. Drew Stankiewicz with the 0-1 goes with the pitch to right. Jake Peavy House comes in. And now ASU just needs one to reach the stalemate. Lobos give the ball to their closer, Josh Walker. But that doesn't keep Max Rossiter from doing his job. Long fly ball out to right for the sacrifice. Brings in the tying run, and hey, all of a sudden we have a ball game. Both sides retired without a score in the ninth. Into the tenth, freshman Ryan Burr ends the top of it with a K in swinging fashion. That left it up to New Mexico's freshman from Fruta, Colorado, Drew Bridges to keep the Devils at bay. With two outs, Jamie McDonald keeps the home team alive with a double. Sun Devils just need something out of the infield. And that's what they get, but not in the fashion they wanted. Bridges fools Trevor Allen just enough. Devils strand one in scoring position, sending us to the 11th. That's where Mike Benjamin oh, wow. goes that's down good. on swings, but Mitch Garver can't track it down before he gets to first. That would be a costly miss for the Lobos. Casey Kaufman, he bats leadoff for a reason because he knows how to hit for contact. That's what he does, and the blue gets Mike Benjamin home. That's what we call a walk-off single. Devils come back from four errors and a three-run deficit for a 4-3 to three win in extras. We were all confident throughout. I mean, we just kept pushing. We knew, I mean, some balls weren't going our way. We were hitting some balls hard. They weren't falling. I mean, we knew by the end of the game we'd come through. you got to win these non-conference games, these midweek games. That's the, that's the biggest thing because we, we had our bullpen going today. We didn't have our frontline guys going, our, our main starters, so that, that, that's a big win for us today. Can't complain about free baseball. Anytime you can get it, <laughs> I'm not going to complain about it. I love it. Also, uh, make sure to check out our Twitter, Facebook, YouTube channel. We also have an interview for you Colorado fans with former Fruit of Monument Wildcat Drew Bridges talking about how he's adjusting to NCAA Division I play and uh, a lot of good things to see. Also, how he's adjusting to college life. He's sporting a little uh, <laughs> facial hair 
that we, I like it. we never saw that back at Fruita, but uh, you know, he mentioned some good things about uh, being on your own and living on your own. You only live once, so why not Absolutely. try it out? <laughs> Absolutely. And Phil, we also want to let the fans know, of course, uh, as well as us doing this weekly web show, Real Recruits TV, we also produce uh, highlight tapes of her oh, uh, high school athletes to help them get to the next level. So make sure to go to the YouTube channel, the Facebook page, the Twitter page. Uh, you can contact us via email or phone. But as for uh, us, I'm Kyle Stanley, Phil Stafford. Until next week, we'll see you again.